Welcome back to John's Films, where I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of the studio, but more importantly, I want to discuss why I use two desks. One that you've seen before, over here, with the large screen monitor, and one that you haven't. One is for color and audio balancing, the other is for cutting and raw audio add. You can determine if any of these materials might fit your workflow, and you'll see why I have two separate setups. Come with me, let's go figure it out. We'll start this tour over on my first desk I use to cut footage and to drop raw audio. Occasionally, I'll use this for fusion work if I intend to use a large and complex composition. Here you can see I've got a X34 monitor from Acer. It is the Predator brand, which gives me 120 hertz of 3440 by 1440 display. That gives me plenty of room to stretch out in my timeline, and it can give me both preview windows in the top, should I need them. I personally love the preview window that shows me not only the clip that I'm considering to put into the timeline, but also the timeline. I also use this for cursory sound editing. I'll layer audio, find the appropriate sound effects, and mix tracks in here so that I can get a general feel of what it sounds like in an open room with the Sound Blaster Katana V2. This is a soundbar and subwoofer combo that has 5.1 Dolby audio and has 252 peak watts of power. This thing fills my 12 by 16 studio and really gives me a full sound, which I enjoy while I'm editing. I also tend to use this soundbar as an output from my TV so that I can listen to music and listen to video games as I play them. Let's jump over to the coloring and finishing desk and see what's different there. John's Films regulars know that this is the setup I typically use on camera, and it includes the 48-inch LG C1 setup with the OLED TV that gives me accurate color at 120 hertz. This allows me to see perfect contrast as well as color now that I've calibrated it with my Data Color Spider 5 Pro. With this setup, color correction and color grading are greatly simplified because I'm not guessing what end users are going to see when they watch it on their phone, tablet, or PC. I will have mastered it to the appropriate Rec. 709 color space with the colors that I intend. The last thing I do over here is balance my audio, and this is something I'm continually trying to improve. In this case, I use my Sony XM4 over-the-ear headphones. This is the biggest tip that I've received when trying to improve the balance of my audio. Put on good headphones and isolate your ears so that you can hear exactly what's going on inside your video. The last thing I might do, if necessary, is use the road arm to pull over my Elgato Wave 3 microphone. This allows me to put voiceovers on top of the video if I need it in post. I think the biggest thing that many of you may have figured out is that I'm using the exact same computer on both of these setups. The computer behind me with the Ryzen 5950 and an RTX 3090 is the computer driving both of the setups. I have wireless mouse and keyboard over in the first setup, and over here I have a tethered mouse and keyboard with an HDMI cable and a USB cable running to the other side of the room. Again, it's the same chair, why not be the same computer? Well, if you have any questions about my setup or why I do it this way, please ask me down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll have product links and everything else that you might imagine down there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.